dog Yo bitch like a dog My no poop from saw My no shoot from saw I got that my dog I got this a dog In the store I'm Paul My flow Mr. Paul The 2022 NBA playoffs had just begun over the weekend, and obviously, the matchups have yet to disappoint. Obviously, with the Knicks and Cavs, with this thriller, thriller finish to that game, and the Bucks versus Heat just faced off earlier today, and we also got the game that we're going to be talking about in today's video. The Lakers versus Grizzlies. And how the Lakers put a beat down on the Memphis Grizzlies in the fourth quarter. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how this LA Lakers team in the playoffs is scary good. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. I, I didn't watch the first half of this, this game, but I did see the second half. And obviously, early on, I saw like... You know, Bleacher Report a little bit on Anthony Davis' injury. And, yes, I was frustrated. I was like, are you serious? We just started the playoffs and you already getting injured? But that's the name of the game. Uh, he actually came back in and he actually balled out. He played like Anthony Davis. Defensively. Offensively, he wasn't on his game like that. Defensively, he was on his game. LeBron came out, obviously, you know, proving the world that he's still him. And especially in the playoff time, this is playoff LeBron. But let's be honest. Nothing, both of those players, they're not the story. The story is two players. Rui Hachimura and AR, a.k.a. Austin Reeves. How these two young players have performed in this game, unbelievable. Rui Hachimura dropped, what, 28 points off the bench with this team? Versus Memphis Grizzlies versus the trash, the most trash talking team in the NBA, quote unquote, have one of the best defenses. Rui Hashimura dropped them off, and then Austin Reeves is uh, out all around performance that he had. He dropped them off, but especially the fourth quarter where how he was. Not only offensively, he was playing great defense on the other side also. And then we got the unfortunate injury to John Morant, who looks like this might be a... I don't know how he's going to be able to play in this series, let's be honest. He's going to be doubtful next game. And we don't know how, when he's going to come back for this whole series. Because that injury, that hand injury that he, he slammed down when he landed and tried to get in the lane. So... That's exactly what we're going to talk about. How this Lakers defense was sensational in this game. They didn't let John Morant do anything inside the paint. Every time he tried to come in, it was always AD there. Or it was a wall that they built with John Morant. Because early in the first quarter, yes, when he, the game started, he got his fast break points. But that was about it. They held this Memphis Grizzlies team to a perimeter shooting to Shooting team, who they are one of the best three point shooting teams in the NBA, right? Jaron Jackson did his thing. Jaron Jackson was the hooper for the Memphis Grizzlies, right? Desmond Bain struggled. Tyus Jones struggled. Dylan Brooks struggled a little bit. He had he had a solid game, but he kind of still just didn't shoot the ball well that way, like that. So the LA Lakers they held this team to basically a perimeter team without the explosiveness of John Morant. Because John Moran was not able to get inside the lane. And it forced more offensive fast break points for the Lakers. It forced players like Ruel Hachimura, players like Austin Reeves to elevate their game to the next level. Because they, the Memphis Grizzlies, they expected LeBron to come out and do his thing. So that's why they double team him. And led to all these other players to get their shots off. This is why you cannot... It's hard to double team LeBron James. Because... Obviously, he's going to make the right play. And that's what he he was doing in this game. And AD defensively was a monster. If we see this AD in the rest of the series when healthy and he's all the way healthy, 
this team might be they, they might beat the Memphis Grizzlies in five games if they don't have John Morant. I give Memphis one game, but without John Morant, I they're not beating the Lakers. Not this Lakers team that we just saw this afternoon. No, this Lakers team if they playing like this, they they might go to the finals. This LA Lakers team, top to bottom, is pretty deep. Because, let's be honest, Digo, you need to separate your game. What you, you just again, you're a statue out there. I don't know what you're doing, and you've been like this the last couple of games too. You was not good versus your former team, Minnesota Timberwolves. You need to separate your game. Because if Austin Reeves and Real Hachimura, let's be honest, they're not gonna have that, that games like this every other every game. Okay. You need to step up. If you don't at least score 15, 20 points, you're going to be out on the bench. You're going to be a liability. Same thing for Michael Beasley. You need to step up too. It's not just Real Hajimura and Austin Reeves going off. They, the rest of the team, they have a they have a deep team. Obviously, Rob Palenka saved this whole franchise this whole season. They saved them. They saved them. So... Memphis Grizzlies, honestly, obviously, Devin Bain said that, you know, it was really hard to merge, you know, career game, see if he's going to do a seven-game series. Desmond Bain, let's be honest. Let's see if y'all can actually win a game or two this whole series without John Moran. Can y'all? We got to see. Like I said, I see this series going five, six games if y'all don't have John Moran. At most, six. But... This series might end in five. At the end of the day, it's only game one. So, obviously, any, every team is going to make some, some adjustments. And it's going to be a different ball game, game too. But without John Morant, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I got to say for this video. Y'all, if y'all enjoyed, give people a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, obviously, I'm going to be dropping all my reactions me, t me talking about all these playoff games, right? all the games I've been watching and see, and just really breaking down that the analysts of what's going on in the game, what's happening, who's making the best plays, who's trash talking, who's doing this and that. So y'all, if y'all like this kind of content, share this video to your friends and family out there. Tell them to like the video. Tell them to subscribe if you're new. And it's been your bull, Will, and I'm out.